Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Just give me the thumbs up when we... Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank God for you uh, who are tuning in via Facebook Live and Zoom and uh, YouTube. And we thank God for those who are in the sanctuary and for those who are on the way. My name is Mitchell Dent. I'm the senior pastor here at Mount Carmel Ministries Vicksburg. We're located at 2015 Grove Street. And we uh, would love to have you come in and be a part of our service. Amen. We're here tonight and we're in a series where we've actually been talking about the five graces that lead to blessings. And uh, these blessings uh, or these graces, if you will, or this grace, if you will, of God, uh, will cause us to operate at the highest level that you and I could imagine, at our optimum level. We're able to maximize everything that we do. Somebody shout glory to God. You see, because God wants us and God has created us to increase, amen, and he wants us to do it in a fashion that draws people to him, amen, not, not just because of, of, of what he can give them, but understanding that with him they can have, as Jesus said, a full and abundant life, amen. Excuse me, so how many people want a fuller and more abundant life, amen. I don't know about you, but I want that Zoe type of life. Uh, amen. Glory to God. The scripture, uh, one of the scriptures that we've been using as a jump off is found in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 16 and 17. And the scripture reads, all scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for, construct, for instructions in righteousness, that the man of God may be completely and thoroughly equipped for every good work. Amen. And so we're going to continue to work from that this morning, or this afternoon, I'm sorry, as we continue to talk about these five uh, areas that God has graced us. And those areas are correction, direction, provision, protection, and perfecting. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for who you are. We praise you tonight, oh God. We give you the glory and we honor you and we praise you for who we are. God, as we go through this time of teaching and preaching, oh God, none of me, oh God, but all of you, we thank you for the presence of your Holy Spirit. Continue to lead us and guide us into the truth, oh God, all truth, God, and help us to become more like you. We thank you, oh God, that our hearts and minds will be illuminated tonight, that wisdom and knowledge and revelation will come, and then, God, we will operate in that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, thereby bringing you glory or bringing glory to your name. We thank you in advance. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Uh, in the, the amplified version of 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17, we see these words. Every scripture is God-breathed, given by his inspiration, and is profitable for instructions, for reproof, for conviction of sin. Glory to God. God doesn't want us to be condemned by our sins, but God wants us to be convicted that we have sin, and so that we can correct it. Amen? See, the whole idea of Passover and the resurrection is so that you and I could be delivered from sin. Amen? So, so uh, uh, he goes on to say here, uh, for discipline and obedience and training in righteousness, in holy living, in conformity to God's will in thought, purpose, and action. So there's a transformation, not only the transformation or the transforming of our thinking, glory to God, but there's a conforming of our behavior that God is looking to, uh, to, for us to have as we, glory to God, as we continue to grow in him. Somebody shout amen. And then verse 17 says, so that the man of God may be complete and proficient, glory to God, and, fit, and uh, 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 well fitted, glory to God, and thoroughly equipped for every good work. So this is what God wants to do with us, amen? He wants to equip us so that we have the equipment to do everything that he's called us to do and to do it in the spirit of excellence, amen? And we started out uh, a couple of weeks ago talking about correction. You have to be willing to allow yourself to be corrected by God, amen? The Bible says that he corrects those that he loves, amen? And he deals with them as sons, amen? And as a son, the fact that, you, that he corrects you lets you know that you are legitimate. You're not an illegitimate son, amen, which means that you have a right to everything that the Father has. And so we want to let God correct us because we want to know that we are legitimate sons. Somebody shout amen. amen. 
Oh, glory to God. And David even writes in, I believe, Psalm 119, 67, he says, it was good that I was afflicted. Uh, he said, before that, I went astray. But, but he said, but now I keep your word. So God is telling us here, glory to God, that uh, as, as he corrects us, it is for the purpose of, of bringing us in line with what it is that God desires for us. Amen. And, and, and how many know that God knows what's best for us? Glory to God. Okay. So he, and, and now we, we talked about that rod. He said, uh, there was one that said, in Proverbs 23 and 13, it said, do not withhold correction from a child. For if you beat him he, uh, with a rod, he will not die. Amen. And see, that's what we used to hear the old folks say, you spare, you spare the rod, you spoil the child. Amen. And see, we don't want spoiled children the wrong way. Amen. We want them spoiled in knowing that their father loves them, that, that, that he cares for them, and he's willing to do anything for them. Somebody shout amen. amen. So we want to do that. Amen. And as we continue to talk about correction, there were so many things we saw where men of God and women of God allowed themselves to be corrected by God. And because of that, they ended up in the right place at the right time and received the blessings from the Lord. Amen. Then we talked about direction. How many know that God sits high and looks low? Amen. He has the perfect uh, view of everything that's going on. <clears throat> Amen. And uh, when we allow him to, he can direct us through this maze of life. Uh, hallelujah. The Bible tells us, glory to God. Uh, Jesus says in John 14 and 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Somebody shout amen. amen. So he's the way, glory, and the truth and the life. So the more we focus on him, he will give us the direction that we need so that we won't go astray. Amen. See, the Jesus told, told us when he talked to uh, uh, Zacchaeus, the tax collector, after he was at his house, he said, he said, I've come to seek and to save that which was lost, amen. And Jeremiah, I believe, says it's not in man to direct his ways or, or direct his steps. So we need God, amen. Touch your name and say, we need God. I'll oh, tell you again, we need God. We need God, amen. David said his word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So again, the more I yield myself over to God, allow him to correct me, he's going to direct me, glory to God, and he's going to lead me and guide me in all truth. We find that in John chapter 16, verse 13. He says, how be it when the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. He won't speak of his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak. Speak, and he will tell us things that are to come. Somebody shout amen. amen. Uh, when we start to get this down in our spirit, we, we start to see God as he really is. Amen. And we can know with an assurity that if we follow him or when we follow him, we're going to end up at the right place at the right time doing the right thing. Amen. amen. Can I just hit you with this for a minute? Glory to God. When we allow God to direct us, glory to God, he doesn't always take us the most advantageous way. Help me, Holy Ghost. He doesn't always take us the shortest route. Come on now. He doesn't always take us the quickest way. Amen. There are times that God will take us the long way round because there are some things he's working out in us and there are some things he's working into us. Amen. Glory to God. The children of Israel, Israel, when he brought them out of Egypt, he didn't take them by the short route. He said, unless they see war, they're going to turn back. So he brought them the long way around. Amen. So what that, all this, watch this now, the slave mentality that had set up in them over 400 years, he's, he's walking that out of them. He's letting them know you're free now. Glory be to God. You can make your own decisions. Now, come on now. And how many of you know that uh, see the, the cage bird sings because he, anyway, I don't want to go there. Glory. But how, a, a, a bird after he it's been in a cage for a while you can open the door it'll fly away but it'll come back to the cage because it has developed a cage mentality there's a thing called Stockholm syndrome I didn't mean to go there tonight uh, but Stockholm syndrome is when somebody has been held captive by a captive taker and they've been there so long that they identify with the captive taker glory to God you don't have to tie them up no more they freely stay there and they do everything you're doing or everything you want them to do because their mindset has been twisted. Oh, but when we decide to let God correct us and then follow his directions, it's a whole different ball game. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. God knows how to bring about a change in our lives. Amen. 
Glory to God. Glory to God. One of the things that we talked about in this direction of following God's direction is in uh, Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 10. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Amen. So it comes a point in our lives where we have to start, allow, uh, start acknowledging God in everything that we do. Amen. So you see, glory be to God. Hallelujah. You see, you can't be an undercover Christian. Hallelujah. No, 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 no. You can't be an undercover Christian. Amen. I heard one preacher say, everybody else coming out of the closet, it's time for you to come out of the closet. Come on now. <laughs> Glory to God. He says, uh, uh, the word of God says, uh, 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 and acknowledge him in all, of, uh, 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 in all of your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Watch what he says, verse 7. And do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Glory to God. Then he goes on and says, it will be help to your flesh and strength to the bones. Honor the Lord with your possessions or with your wealth or with your substance and the first fruits of your increase. So your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new, new wine. Amen. Now look at how God blesses you and I when we allow the correction and allow the direction to come. Amen. He leads us and guides us into those places that causes our lives to be forever changed for the better. Somebody shout for the better. But we have to start acknowledging him in all of our ways, amen. And then we talked about provisions. I'm, I'm, I'm just doing a review, amen, trying to get there, amen. Provisions, provisions. Somebody shout provisions. In, Philipp in Philippians chapter 4, verse 19, he says, uh, And my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus, amen. Find somebody and tell them God supplies. God supplies, God supplies. Even if you just got to touch yourself and say, God supplies, God supplies. And see, most of us can look back over our lives, and there have been some times when it didn't look like we were going to have enough, but God supplied. Somebody need to shout right there, amen, because I'm telling your story, amen. God supplied, God supplied. He says, all of our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Y'all still with me? See, you got to know that the provisions of God is already been made available, amen. Glory to God. All, all, sometimes all we have to do or all we have to realize is that everything we need, God has already made available to us, amen. But we, have, we are the ones who have to know that it's there. Amen. See, the Bible says we have not, help me, Holy Ghost, because we ask not, amen. In other, uh, in other words, God said if you ask for it, I already got it. And there's a song that says whatever you need, God's got it. And he's waiting to give it to you, glory to God. Uh, see, you got to know that it's yours, and you have to use your faith to access it. Somebody shout amen. amen. Glory to God. In 1 Corinthians, uh, sorry, in 1 John chapter 5, uh, verses 14 through 13, it says, through, through 15, it says this. Now, this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Glory to God. And if we know that he hears us, then whatever we ask, we know we have the petition that we have asked him. Somebody shout amen. amen. Anybody in here got confidence in the Lord tonight? Amen. Glory to God. And see, what you, gotta have to, what you have to start telling yourself by faith now is if there's anything that you're in need of, you got to know that God has already made it available. Amen. The Bible says that he's given us everything that pertains to life and godliness. Amen. Can I help you somebody tonight? How many got children? I feel the Holy Ghost right there. How many, how many got children that might not be, you know, you know, come on now, come on now, come on now. Oh, but glory to God, how many of you know that through provision to bring them to Christ, the provision to cause them to line up has already been made available, amen? All you and I got to do is start expecting, come on now, that God going to do what he said he would do, amen? Glory to God. God is always working behind the scenes. The Bible says no man comes to the son unless the father draws him. How many know that God is drawing our children right now? But what you and I have to do is not only have an expectation that it's going to come to pass, but we have to move also from expectation to start having that anticipation that any day now, that any day now, that any day now, it's going to happen. Glory to God. Woo! 
So a lot of folk gonna think it was a, it, 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 it just like that. No, no, but they don't know that you've been believing God for this for a long time, amen. And you did not allow the negative turns, uh, help me God, that they took to stop you from not only expecting, but developing an anticipation of it happening, amen. Every time I hear that word, think about that old commercial. Got that big old juicy jumbo hot dog. Got that ketchup. And they, they got the bottle turned upside down. And the ketchup just taking its time coming out. Man is just salivating. He can't, get, can't wait to bite into that hot dog. But he wants that ketchup on it. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Can I just help somebody? Glory to God. In the anticipation, glory to God, just like you're doing when you got that, that, that bottle. You know, sometimes you can shake that glass bottle, but if you got that, 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 that uh, plastic bottle, you can put a little pressure on it and squeeze it. Glory to God. On your expectation, I feel you, God. On your expectation and on your anticipation, go and put a praise on it. Go and put a praise on God. Start, go ahead and start praising God in advance of what you believe in God for. The provision for it has already been made. And when you start acknowledging that it's already been made, that it's already yours, the Bible says, uh, if, uh, whenever you pray, believe, glory to God, that you've received, come on now, and you will have it. Amen. Am I in the right place tonight? Amen. Glory to God. See, God has made these provisions available to us, but we are the ones who have to have confidence in believing and confidence in going after what God said we could have. Somebody shout amen. amen. Now, we talked about uh, Abraham, glory to God, and again, uh, I apologize if, 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 if you already heard this before, because uh, 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 I know we're going over, but, but glory to God, a, a review is good. Somebody shout amen. amen. Review is good, amen. We, we talked about how Abraham, glory to God, had, had, had fathered uh, Isaac, glory to God. Took him about 25 years to get him, but he got him, glory to God. And then God said, I need you to offer him up as a sacrifice, amen. And so they're going on the way to offer up Isaac as a sacrifice. But the whole way that there, glory to God, uh, Abraham is speaking faith, amen, he's speaking faith, he's speaking faith, I know what you asked me to do, God, and I'm going to do it, but I'm believing, glory to God, that, that I'm not going to have to kill him, I, I'm believing, I'm believing, he said, you know, when, when they were going, he told, us, he told his other guys, he said, you guys stay here, but me and the lad, we're going over yonder to worship, and we're going to come back, glory to God, Isaac went on a little, little ways with him, he said, Father, I see the fire, and I see the wood, and you know, you can find this in Genesis chapter 22 glory to God and he said but where is the ram or where is the lamb for the sacrifice but Abraham said the Lord come on church will provide for himself oh glory they went on up there and they laid it out and there the young man is on the altar and just as he was about to sacrifice him glory to God the angel spoke from heaven Abraham lay not thy hand on the son now I know that you will, will not withhold anything from me. And by that time, he heard something behind him. Amen. See, we keep saying the provision has already been made. You just have to keep walking by faith with an expectation and an anticipation of God doing exactly what he said he would do. Somebody shout amen. amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, here's a couple of points I want to make about the provision. We've already kind of said it, but provision is both physical and spiritual. Amen. I need you to get that. The provision that God provides for us is both in the physical realm and the spiritual realm. And the reason why he does that is because you're a citizen in both realms. Oh, glory to God. And he's God enough. Oh, God, I love you. He's God enough to take care of you in both places. Oh, glory. And, and not, just, uh, not just barely get you by, but take care of you in the God style. I wish somebody shout right there. Glory to God. Anybody want to wanna have it done in their life God style? Amen. Glory to God. Well, see, it can be done, but you're the one who has to believe that it can be done. 
Amen. Well, he's already made it available. Amen. Glory to God. So in Philippians chapter 2, verses 8 through 11, what we find here is that he said, being found in the appearance of a man, talking about Jesus now, he humbled himself and became obedient to the port of death, even the, uh, uh, the death of the cross. And therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of those things in heaven, those things on the earth, and those things underneath the earth, and that every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. So we already know that we have it in the physical realm, and we have it in the spiritual realm, and notice here now, in these three realms, heaven, earth, and underneath the earth, glory to God, God has already provided us everything we need to do things in those arenas, amen? Glory to God. And see, when you get understand that, that's the visible and the invisible. Amen. Glory to God. And the more you and I understand that, just because I can't see it, don't, don't, don't believe that. It, uh, you know, don't, don't, don't think it's not there. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, but I've got to believe it. Amen. You've got to believe it. And that's why we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Glory. So just because you don't see it, uh, don't have that, don't let that stop you from calling it. Amen. And believing that is already there, amen. And again, look what he says in Peter, glory to Second Peter chapter 1, verse 3. Of his divine power has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us to glory and virtue, amen. And then here in uh, Ephesians 1 and 3. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So these scriptures just bear witness to the fact that God has provided already for us everything we need in the, in the physical and in the spiritual. Amen. That's why he says, if thou can believe, all things are possible because he's already did it. Amen. And so that's why we use our faith to access these things. Amen. We use our faith to bring these things to manifestation in our lives. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God. Uh, somebody just shout provision. provision. Somebody said a uh, provision. Again, God wants us to know that it's already been made available. You may not see it, but it's already there. All you got to do is keep believing, have the confidence in God that he's going to bring it to pass, have an expectation and also an, in, an anticipation that it's going to happen and watch God do what he said he would do. Amen. Now, glory to God. Hallelujah. Now we're on our, 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 our fourth, uh, is it fourth one? Yeah, fourth one. Yes, fourth. this fourth. Protection. We're on the fourth one. Protection, protection, protection. Now, now, now one of the good things here, glory to God, how many of you know that, 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 that uh, when you got something, you got to protect it? When you have something, the enemy is a thief. And the Bible says he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Now, so, so when you and I have something, glory to God, we've got to utilize the protection of the Lord to hold on to it. Amen. And so how many know that God will protect you? How many? I mean, don't, don't play with the preacher now. How many know that God will protect you? Glory to God. Uh, and so you've got to get this so down in your spirit that glory to God. Uh, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, anybody ever had some real, not, real nice? Real nice, real nice, you know, you got your real nice car. And real, real, I'm talking about real nice. I'm talking about, hallelujah, I feel you. Holy. I'm talking about real nice, uh, amen. And, 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 and it's so nice, you didn't want other folk to know that you had something real nice. Because folk, you know, sometimes when you got something real nice, folk act, act funny with you. And so you didn't drive your real nice car to church. Here God done blessed you with it, but you, you drove the hoopty. Because, you know, they, they, you, you understand what I'm saying? And, 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 now, we just read earlier, the Bible said, acknowledge him, come on church, in all your ways. So if God done blessed you real good, you need to allow the, the blessing of the Lord to be seen in your life. Am I making sense? So don't be afraid of people, amen. And, and, don't, and don't be afraid of the enemy uh, 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 trying to take what you got. He going to do what he do. Amen. Our job, though, is to believe that we have the protection of Almighty God to hold on to it. Somebody shout amen. amen. 
glory to God, glory to God. Okay, okay, okay. His divine protection can do it, amen. Look what he says in Isaiah 54, verse 17. No weapon formed against you shall be able, shall, shall prosper. And every tongue uh, that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, saith the Lord. So, so that's why you got to understand, not my righteousness, but his. Amen. Glory to God. And see, if God gave me the stuff, then glory to God. I got it, but it's still God's. Amen. And God will protect that which belongs to him. Amen. Glory to God. See, that's why God protects you and I. Amen. Because we belong to him. And can I even go here? Even when you didn't consider yourself to be God's property, you are still God's property. And God had an angel watching over you while you was dropping it like it was hot. Amen. While you were doing, while, 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 as my brother said the other night, while you was riding dirty. While you were riding dirty, he still had angels watching over you, amen, because he knew there was going to come a day, all oh, hallelujah, that he was going to be able to use you for the glory of his kingdom, amen, and, and, and God blocked it, and God kept, come on church, These, this is that divine protection of God. See, that's why the scripture said, while we were yet sinners, while we were enemies of the Lord, amen, Christ died for us. See, the omniscience of God is able to see what you can't see. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm, 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 mm. His protection, his protection. Glory to God, glory to God. Watch this now. Uh, see, when we accept the correction of God, the direction of God, and the provisions of God, you got to know we need the protection of God. We need the protection of God. Again, when the scripture said, it's not in man to direct his own steps. Glory, I need somebody to lead me away from trouble. Because I know how to find it. Oh, y'all ain't got to say nothing. I just talk about me. I just talk about me. Glory to God. I, 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 I don't have to go looking for it. I just know how to walk up on it. Oh, look. See, I, see, I, I got a cousin in the house. I got a cousin in the house. Do I have any more kinfolk up in here? Yeah. Uh-huh. The flesh, they stumble and fail. And they fail. Glory. See, well, you got that. And one of them says, uh, they, they came one way, and they had to leave seven different ways. See, our God is providing us with some divine protection. But see, just like we got to believe in the provision, we got to believe in the protection. Amen. Glory. See, oh, uh, I, I can't, uh, okay, okay, okay. That's why the Bible says, forsake not the assembly. Ooh, no pestilence, uh, y'all, <laughs> no pestilence will come nigh thy dwelling. Oh, come on now, come on now. You can't allow something that you can't see stop you from doing what God called you to do. When you understand that the provision for you have been made for you to have dominion over stuff in the, vis in, in the visible and in the invisible realm. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Glory to God. See, that's why you've got to believe it and receive it. Glory to God. Mm. See, the enemy is a master thief. And if he can, if he can, he, if he can trick you and steal your revelation that you have authority over him and not him having authority over you, then he'll keep you in bondage. But the minute you find out you're the one in charge, the minute you find out he got to take some orders from you. Glory to God. And see, when he, look, look, can I want you to get this picture? When, when, when you start talking, Hallelujah. And now, 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 now you, you got to learn that every now and then you got to walk up on the enemy. See, you got to have a little David in you. Just because Goliath was beat, the Bible said he ran up. Ah, I feel your Holy Spirit. He ran up on him. But see, when he ran up on him, what you got to see in your mind is this big old angel flying right behind David. 
And when David let go of the rock, the angel took the rock. Come Oh, you got to get something in your spirit that starts to encourage you that no matter what you're going through, my God is bigger. My God is able. Come on now. Glory to God. He got, tell your neighbor, say, he got me. Say it again, he got me. Say it again, he got me. Say it again, he got me. See, see you got to get this so down in your spirit that, that wh wherever the devil thought he had you, he's going to go ahead and let you go because go you're starting to make some noise. In other words, you're starting to sound like you really mean what you say. Come on now. Anybody got cheering? Now, now you know when you got cheering. Watch this now. Uh, sometimes you go, come on, D, help me out. Sometimes you say, stop doing that. <laughs> it's almost like you said, keep it up. <laughs> but then when there is a change in the tone in what you say. It's almost, oh, 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 oh I love you, thank you. Sometimes you, you, all you do is give them that look and they freeze. <laughs> See, God is working on us, amen. Yeah. Glory. He wants to protect us. He, want, he wants to protect us, amen. You know, we talked... Uh, if he let him, amen. We talked, I believe, the other night about Second Chronicles chapter uh, 20. Second Chronicles chapter 20. And how all these armies were coming at Je Jehoshaphat. And Jehoshaphat got kind of, got scared. Je Jehoshaphat got scared. But, but he did the right thing. He turned his face to the Lord. Right. He started to pray. He started to fast. Amen. Glory to God. See, uh, 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 there, there is something you can do to address the fear. Right. Amen. Glory to God. God, done, God, God, God oh, thank you, God. Uh, in, in Joshua chapter 1, oh, glory to God. Joshua chapter 1, Joshua's getting ready to walk over in. A, he's, got, he's getting ready to take on a new role. He knew how to fight, but now he had to be an administrator. Mm -hmm. And he had to now follow God more closely, glory to God. And so, and so uh, God had to have a conversation with him to let him know that glory, it's going to be all right. He said, so, he said, only be strong and very courageous. He said, Moses, my servant is dead. But don't worry about that. As I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. Glory to God. He said, no man is going to be able to stand before you. Well, see, see, every now and then, we got to go back into the scriptures because, again, Paul told us in Timothy, all scripture is God-breathed. And it's profitable, amen, for, for us to correction, for reproof, for instructions in righteousness, that the man of God, the woman of God, can be completely, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Are y'all with me? Glory to God. And so, glory to God, uh, 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 when you find yourself scared and your knees knocking together, God said, don't worry about it. I got you. I got you. And when Jehoshaphat sought the Lord, everybody prayed. The Spirit came up on one of the young men. And he, he you know, he, uh, oh, go, go there, go there. Uh, Joshua, I'm sorry, not Joshua, glory to God. Second Chronicles chapter 20. And let's pick up at verse uh, 14. Second Chronicles chapter 20. Let's pick up at verse 14. We're talking about the protection of God. The protection of God. And, and one of the things that we, we, we learn here is that the more you and I uh, obey God, the more you and I obey God, the more we'll see God do what God said he's going to do. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Uh, verse 14. Yes, sir. Verse 14. Uh-huh. Then the Spirit of the Lord came upon Gehazi, mm -hmm. the son of Zechariah, uh -huh. the son of Benaiah, the son of Jael, the son of Mephaniah, uh -huh. the Levite of the son of Asaph, in the midst of the assembly. Uh -huh. And he said, listen all of you of Judah and you inhabitants of Jerusalem, mm -hmm. and you, King Jehoshaphat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, go down against them. They will surely come up by the ascent of Ziz, and you will find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jeruel. You will not need to fight in this battle. Mm. Position yourself. Stand still and see the salvation. 
Mm. Hold on right there, hold on right there. Now look at all that, look at all that direction that he's yeah. giving them, amen. And all they got to do is follow it. Follow. All they got to do is follow it. And, and look, he let them know from the uttermost to the guttermost, from Jehoshaphat on down, you better listen to what the Lord say. Yeah. Uh-huh, you better listen to what the Lord say. You know, uh, Jehoshaphat has, turned, has uh, you know, turned his face to the Lord. He's praying and fasting. But glory to God, uh, Paul said, sometimes I can preach to other folks, but then if I don't hear what I preach, come on now, I can even be disqualified, amen? So no matter who you are, you got to tune your ear in to the direction of the Lord. If you want the protection of the Lord, you got to learn how to become more obedient amen. to what thus saith the Lord, amen? amen. Glory to God, glory to God. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem bowed before the Lord, mm -hmm. worshiping the Lord. Mm -hmm. Then the Levites and the children of the Kohathites and of the children of Korahites stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel with voices loud and high. Mm -hmm. So they rose early in the morning and went out into the wilderness of Kokoa. And as they went out, the host of stood and said, Hear me, O Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when he had consulted the people, he appointed those who should sing to the Lord and who should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army and were fain. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord, for his mercy endures forever. Mm -hmm. Now when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushes against the people of Ammon, Moab, mm -hmm. and Mount Seir, mm -hmm. who had come against Judah, and they were defeated. But the people of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of So when Judah came to a place overlooking the wilderness, they looked toward the multitude, and they and there were their dead bodies falling on the earth. Mm -hmm. No one had escaped. That's no God. one had escaped. No. no. All right. We we in the right place now. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Lord will fight for you. Amen. The Lord will protect you. Amen. But you and I gotta know this. Amen. You and I gotta know this. That's why He says, uh, "Vengeance is mine." Amen. You see, whenever we try to get vengeance for ourselves, we end up with blood on our hands and the consequences and repercussions that come with that blood being on our hands. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, uh, I love the fact that even though David could not build the temple because the Bible says he had so much blood on his hands, but there was some, there was some, there was some times in David's life because he listened uh, to the Holy Ghost or people of God that he didn't have as much blood on his hand. That there was a girl he met by the name of Abigail. Glory to God. Nabal's wife. Amen. And, and, and because Nabal didn't give him no food. Hallelujah. And send his servants away. David told, told his boys, posse up. We going down there. Y'all excuse me. He said, we going to kill everything that pissed against the wall. That's what David said. I'm not, I'm not. That ain't that. It's in your Bible. Glory to God. And, and, but, but, and he was coming one way. Abigail had sent uh, uh, stuff another way. And, and, and she went another way. And wouldn't God have it that they would meet up? Yeah. Glory to God. Glory to God. See, see, again, when we follow the direction of the Lord, God knows how, how to direct you where you can get what you need to get what you need. Yeah. Glory to God. Good God Almighty. And when she talked to David, David said, oh, it's a good thing you, you caught me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, a good, it's, it's a good thing you caught me. And, and, and it was a blessing for her. Come on, church. Glory to God. Because the Bible said her husband was crazy. Something like that. And, and, and he had got drunk. And I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just, look. And, and he, he, when she told, she waited till he sobered up. She didn't tell him when he was drunk. When he sobered up, she told him what, what never had happened. And he I only didn't have a heart attack. Had a, had a, he had a heart attack and died. And then David married her. Help us, Jesus. I'm going to go. God know how to bless you. Amen. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I'm so glad somebody said, bless you real good, glory to God. 
oh, can I just go down? I mean, I'm just, I'm just going there for little, just, oh, God, tell you something. There was a time that even after David had married her and he's stationed at Ziklag, I feel you, God. He's stationed at Ziklag and he comes back and he finds the city burned, both his wives, one included Abigail and his children taken. And everybody else's wife and children taken. And they're so mad at David, they're talking about stoning David. But David knew where to go to get help. Put on the ephod, went in and consulted, shall I pursue and will I over? And God said, surely you shall pursue and overtake and without doubt recover all. Oh, glory. And when, look, David went in kind of down, but David came out with a swagger, glory to God. But look, look, David came out so confident that everybody that was talking about stoning, like, oh, some, uh, it's getting ready to go down. David got his shoulder square. Come on now. Yeah, a little pep in his step, glory to God. He said, look, we're going to get our stuff back. And boy, okay, look, if you keep reading that, Oh, God, you're so good. If you keep, ah, oh, God, you're so good. If you keep reading that, everybody wasn't saved that was with David. That's right. Oh, God. Because the Bible says when they, went, when they were going to get it, they found this guy. He gave them some direction. They got to this brook. Uh, it was 600 of them. Uh, uh, 200 of them couldn't, 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 couldn't cross over because they were too tired. So only 400 went on over and, and got the stuff back. And when they came back, the 400 were saying, well, the 200 can't get none of this because they didn't go. David said, we don't roll like that. Glory to God. He, he said, David said, they stayed with the stuff. So they, 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 everybody shares in this thing a lot. Glory to God. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Glory to God. God is good. Somebody shout amen. Amen. They're going to show you the mentality of man. Mm -hmm. They were ready to kill him all together, but when they get the stuff, they all didn't want to say mm -hmm. See, in that passage there, it said, the wicked men that were with David. So he just straight out tell you, everybody wasn't straight. Everybody wasn't right in their thinking. But God knows how to bring them in. Come on, church. Glory to God. He's a good God, amen. Because of his divine protection, amen. Glory to God. Let's go to Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. We're still talking about this protection, amen. This protection, you know, this is a heritage of ours, amen. We got a right to it, amen. Glory to God. But Romans 8, 31 through 39, look what it says. He said, what, sh what then shall we say to these things? How many know there's a bunch of crazy stuff going on? Oh, yeah. oh glory to God. And you can't keep up with the craziness that's going on. You'll go crazy trying to keep up with the crazy. Oh, come on. Who is that? But he said, if God is for us, who can be against us, Amen. Glory to God. He said, he who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us what? All things. In other words, you, you got to understand something about God. God said, I'm not withholding anything from you. If anything, you blocking your own blessing. Help me. Glory to God. Uh, oh, oh, yes, you can, you, you're, you're limiting me from what I want to give you. Yeah. Amen. Glory to God. I, I want to give you all of me, uh -huh, but you, 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 you're the one who's trying to hold back something. See, the, Bi uh, the Bible says he who saves his life will lose it, but he who loses his life for my sake and the gospel, glory to God, he going to save it. He said, no man, come on, church, that's left mother, father, sister, brother, for my sake, and shall I not repay in this time a hundredfold, and then, come on now. Oh, God. What was it? I'm, I'm sorry, y'all, excuse me. Verse 33. Who shall, bring, who shall bring a charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies who is he who condemns? It is Christ who died. And furthermore, is also risen. Glory to God. That's good to know right there. Amen. Oh, he, he's also risen. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, Jesus is alive and well. Come on now. Glory to God. Glory to God. <laughs> See, every now and then, you got to know how to encourage yourself in the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Where I stop at, y'all? Come on now. Y'all, y'all, 
Y'all messing with me too much this evening. He said, uh, uh, who is it who condemns? It is Christ who died and furthermore also is risen. Who is even at the right hand of God? Who, has, who also makes intercession for us? Verse 35, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation? No. Shall distress? Uh-uh. Shall persecution? Shall famine? Shall nakedness? Shall peril? Shall sore? As it is written, for our sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep to the, for the slaughter. Yet in all these things, come on church, you are, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Amen? Now, but you're the one who has to develop a conqueror's mentality. Yeah. Glory to God. You have to develop a conqueror's mentality. Mm. Amen. Glory to God. And the only way to do that is keep walking with God. Mm -hmm. See, Jesus says, come unto me, I feel you, God, all you that labor and are heavy laden. See, see you, can all, you can work harder and not get there, but you can work smarter when you yoke up with God. Amen. He said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn. Come on, come on now, from me. Glory yeah. to God. It, 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 thank you, God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, come, come, come here for a minute. 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 Come, come here, come, come. Every now and then, you know, you all right with me. You all right with me. I ain't mean to disturb you. You, you, you were so comfortable. Glory to God. Glory to God. Uh, put, put your arm around my neck. And put it. See, see, a lot of times, uh, what we want to do is distant learning. With distant learning, you can probably learn, but, 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 but it takes a little bit more. Oh, you understand what I'm saying? And, and you got wiggle room to do what you want to do because you, 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 you're not really in the eyesight of the teacher. Come on now. You don't have to conform to certain behaviors of the classroom. I, I, uh -huh, uh -huh. See, you're able to set your own standards. You're able to, uh, come on now, to set it up how you want. But when you yoked up, when you yoked up, you got to conform to where you are. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You, you, you can't, you're not free willy. You can't do what you want to do the way you want to do it. You got to conform. Your standards now has to meet the standard of who you yoked up to. And the longer you stay yoked up to him, you'll lose the desire to be. God, God, God. Come on. And this is what God is trying to do with us because he's trying to bring us to a level. Watch this now. Not just of transformation in the mind, but of conformity of behavior. Mm. Amen. Right. Glory to God. So you are just demonstrating with your whole heart. Yes. Look at you. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present nor things to come, nor heights nor depth, nor any create. See, see, see uh, oh, you know what's created in China, in Wuhan, China. That's where it was created at. Uh, no created thing. Come on, church. I said no created thing. Shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. The question becomes do you believe that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? See, you, 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 you've got to be fully persuaded. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you for that one, Holy Ghost. I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to hold it in the row. If you're not fully persuaded, you're not going to go at it like a fully persuaded person. Amen. You know, you, 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 you're going to be here to miss. Mm -hmm. But when you're fully persuaded, you'll ride a bike. Hallelujah. In the dark. When you're fully persuaded, glory to God, you'll go pick out a rain. Glory to God. And say, I'm coming back. Hallelujah. When you're fully persuaded, glory to God. And the beautiful thing is that, thank you, God, God don't mind waiting until you're fully persuaded. Mm. The Bible says Abraham believed God at 75, mm. and he started to walk with God. A amen. 
but it took 25 years for him to get fully persuaded that that son, that promised seed was going to come. Amen. And when, look, watch this now. When it was, hello somebody, when it, it was most definitely out of Abraham's control. He finally believed what God promised that God was able to perform. And Sarah was persuaded enough. Though she'd been barren all of her life. Mm -hmm. God can do this thing. <laughs> I ain't going there. You ain't going to put me on that glory to God. Holly. God's good. Somebody shout amen. amen. So this is the protection that we have from God. Amen. This is that kind of protection. This, these are the kinds of things that God will do because we're covered by him. How many believe that you're covered by the Lord tonight? Oh, yeah. Glory, amen. To God. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I, I wanted to ease over into uh, perfecting, but we'll save that. But uh, since we did time to talk about it, let's go, let's go back to Joshua chapter 1. Joshua chapter 1. And, and we're just going to look at some things as we kind of look at the fact that God is going to be with us. God will help us and just understand that this correction, direction, provision, uh, and protection of God, uh, just like God did it back then, he's doing it right now. Amen. He, just like God did it back then, he's doing it now. But we, you and I got to have, uh, got to be encouraged, glory to God, that God is going to do what he said he's going to do. Amen. Amen. While I'm trying to find that, Brother Mike, what does, uh, what does Numbers 29, is it Numbers 29? 2319. 2319. That's what it is. What does it say? Uh-huh. 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 Uh -huh. Glory to God. So if God said it, he go do it. If somebody shout amen. amen. Glory to God. It's Joshua 1. Joshua 1. I'm trying to see where it is I want to go. Uh, yeah, we're just going to pick. We're going to just start at verse 2. We're just going to kind of work our way down. Uh, look what he says. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise and go over this Jordan, and you and all the people to the land which I am giving to them, the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given you, as I said to Moses. Again, the provisions of God, the protection of God, all this is already provided. But you and I have to access it now by faith. We have to have, we have, to have faith to go in and possess the land. Amen. Because uh, uh, ten jokers uh, didn't believe it, the children of Israel ended up wandering in the wilderness for 40 years. But Joshua and Caleb were ready to go up and possess it. And when they came back, here it is. Now Joshua and Caleb are going in to possess this land. Amen. Louis says, okay, he said, from the wilderness of Lebanon, as far as the great uh, river Euphrates and the land of the Hittites and of the great sea toward going down of the sun shall be your territory. No man will be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so will I be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Amen. That's important for us to know. Amen. Glory to God. Because that forsake means I'm not going to let you down. Amen. Not only am I, not only am I going to be there, but I'm not going to let you down. I need somebody to get that in your spirit, amen. Not only am I going to be there with you, but I'm not going to let you down. Think about that. God says, I'm not going to let you down. I'm not. You can depend on me. Lean on me. I feel you, Holy Ghost. When you're not strong, I'll be your friend. Ah, no, all right, stop. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Glory to God. Come on now. Come on now. Don't, 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 look, don't play with me tonight. Glory to God. Oh, I'm ready tonight. Bless the Lord. Look what he said. He said, be strong and of good courage for uh, to this people you shall divide as an inheritance and as an inheritance and the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, that you may observe to do according to, the, to all the law 
Uh, where am I at? Well, which Moses, my servant, commanded you. And do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may possess wherever you go. So again, here it is, is that there's some correction and direction that we got to stay in line with. Amen. We don't go to the left or to the right. Stay on point. How do we stay on point? Obedience. Following Christ. Being led by the Spirit. Come on. Reading the Word. Glory to God. Not leaning to our own understanding. Stay and pray. Go ahead on, Velma. Faith. Come on now. Forsaking not the sin. Oh, yeah, that's a good one right there. Anything else? Fasting and praying. Glory to God. Ooh, boy, y'all are. Oh! This time I will be still. Glory to God. See, see, every now and then, you got to be, be still and know. That I am the Lord. Glory to God. See, sometimes, you, that, that, isn't it funny? Sometimes you can move too fast, and sometimes you got to stand still. Wow. Yes, yes, glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Where I stop at? Hey, okay. Look what he says. This book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night that you may observe to do according to all that's written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. So I don't know about you, but I want the Lord to have good success out of my life. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. I hadn't always did what thus said the Lord. Amen? But there were times when I wanted to do my own thing. Uh -huh. But, but, but I, I, I had to submit to the correction of the Lord. Amen. Because the direction I wanted to go in was not the direction that he had preordained for me to go in. Glory to God. I, I need somebody to hear that. Glory to God. Because God has a preordained direction that he wants you to go in. Amen. You, you, you may think you know the way that he wants you to go. But God knows the way that he wants you to go. The Bible says it's not in us. To direct our own steps. Glory to God. We need his word to be a lamp unto our feet. And a light unto our path. That's why we need the correction of the Lord. We need the direction that comes from God. Oh, glory to God. Everybody want his provisions. Glory to God. Oh, but see, you got to line, start lining up so that not only will you get uh, uh, what you need, you can get some of the things that you want. And then the desires of your heart can be met also. Somebody shout, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. And then God is willing to protect us. Amen. Amen. Irregard irregardless of what you've done, irregardless of how long you did it, irregardless of how, 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 you know, how bad you think you is, glory to God, you still can turn around. Amen. See, failure don't have to be final, and failure doesn't have to be fatal. You're the one who makes that decision. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Tonight, if, you, if, you, if, if, if you're listening to the sound of our voice, my voice, glory to God, and you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, we're at a point of service where you can do it tonight, amen? You can accept the correction of the Lord, the direction from the Lord, the provision of God, and the protection of God. See, God has been watching over you in everything that you've done. Every, every place that you've been, God has been watching you. The Bible declares that the eyes of the Lord run to and fro in, the, all, in all the earth, searching for those whom, whom he can show himself strong. If you're here tonight and you're in Zoom land and you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, the doors of our church are open. We offer Christ to you tonight. Amen. Glory to God. He's, he, he has come to set the captives free. He wants to fill you with all the fullness of God. Jesus even said, if you receive the Holy Spirit that I'm going, I'm, my Father's going to send, you receive me. And if you receive me, you receive him that sent me. Glory to God. You can have the Godhead bodily embodied in you tonight. Glory to God. All you got to do is confess your sins, ask Jesus to forgive you of your sins, cleanse you from all unrighteousness, come in and fill your heart, and he will be there with you. Somebody shout amen. amen. The second thing that we offer tonight is that if uh, 
you, you, you are, are, are strayed away from God. All you got to do is rededicate your life tonight. If, you, if, if something that has been said has stirred you and you knew you used to w walk with God and tonight you want to come back, glory to God, just rededicate your life. Repent of whatever it, call, it was that caused you to drift away and say, Father, I'm sorry, I'm, I want to come home. And he'll meet you right where you are and take you to the next level. Somebody shout amen. amen. Last but not least, if you don't have a church home, the spirit of the Lord is here. Amen. We're located at 2015 Grove Street. We'd be glad to have you as a part of our body. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. It's the first Wednesday of the month. Uh, our, 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 our communion Wednesday. Glory to God. And come on, let me get this. Glory to God. If you're at home, you can get you some juice and uh, some bread. The Bible says, as often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. Amen. The, the, inscrip the inscription uh, on our table says this, this do in remembrance of me. At this point, I'm going to let Pastor Deborah take over. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So as we prepare to do this, as, as Pastor was saying, do this in remembrance of me. It, it may, it, you need to do it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. We have to do this in remembrance of him. Amen. Glory to God. The bread symbolizes the body of Christ, and the juice symbolizes his shed blood. Uh, we're in the midst of Passover, and the Bible declares that uh, Moses had told them, or the Lord had told Moses, and he told the people to kill a lamb and put the blood on the doorpost and over the centerpiece of the door to eat the lamb and be prepared to travel. Uh, this Passover meal, uh, uh, this communion has its roots in that Passover meal. When the death angel came, he passed over the houses that had the blood. The Bible also declares that when the children of Israel came out of Egypt, that there was not a feeble one among them. Amen. Glory to God. In other words, there's healing in this communion. Somebody shout amen. amen. When Paul writes, Paul says, before we partake of this bread and this juice, let each one examine himself. Amen. To make sure that you're following uh, the way of God. And said, you know, if you got an ark with anyone, if you, you know, out of, out of kilter, out of line, Correct that, amen, and a, a, as soon as you possibly can so that you won't sleep or you won't be sick. Somebody shout amen. amen. So as we partake of this bread that symbolizes the body of Christ Jesus, as we drink this juice that symbolizes shed blood, just believe that we're taking in the blood and the body of Christ, thus being strengthened by it to do what we cannot, we cannot do in and of our own power, but by the Spirit of God. We can do all things. Somebody shout, thank you, God. Amen. Father God, we thank you for this bread that symbolizes your broken body. We thank you for this juice that symbolizes your shed blood. As we partake of this holy communion, oh God, we thank you for the healing and delivering power that we're taking into our bodies. We thank you, oh God, that our minds are being renewed in the spirit of you, oh God. And Lord, Lord God, that we'll start to walk in the newness of life. We thank you in advance. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. This is the body and the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Glory to God.